okay. This is father time. This is my first, well, second, really. I visited it yesterday. Couldn't talk to anyone. Didn't know what I was doing. So I've got a flight plan filed with SimBrief. When I went to Bat Sim, they said that they had a flight plan from JFK to Boston. I'm at the gate in Boston. I'm going to connect now over here on uh, that sim. I'm doing this because I'm a real 777 captain who's new to the sim world, new to Microsoft Flight Simulator, new to P3D, which I'm this aircraft's from. But I have a bunch of guys that I talk with who are encouraging me to do this. And they said they would actually guide it, me through it. So here we go. Connect. And... Uh, I have read a lot on this stuff. Let me see here. Mode C, consider supporting that. Safe kind of voice. Thanks for being part. It's my first trip, really. Events, center, approach, departure. Donate. I don't know what this stuff is. Uh, mode C. Don't know what I'm doing. Controllers and range. Events at VAT Sim. Open link in browser. Don't think this is what we want. It says Budapest, Vienna. Nope, don't want any of that stuff. This must be painful for you guys. Flight plan is filed. That's some search. Yeah, I don't know, guys. This is frightening. This is frightening. Let me see here. So here it is. Um, I think I have a flight plan filed. So I think I'm actually good to go with Mike here. I'm connected. Mode C, approach tower. I'm going through here. Connected to voice server. All right, don't know why it's not doing anything. I'm going to push back and see how this goes. So what I've got is uh, everything, engine started at the gate. I heard it, I'm supposed to stay away. I'm ready to operate on voice. I've got my plus key set for Mike. And i um, pretty excited about this. Pretty excited. Don't know what I'm doing, but pretty excited. So I'm going to put my seat back a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, bear with me. I don't even know what runway we're going to. I tuned the IATIS and it was saying four left, but we'll see when I contact them. So let me push back here. And I apologize, but I'm actually pretty pumped here. i got to admit... Pretty put pumped. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start tail straight out. Roger that. Ready for push straight back. Release the brakes, please. Ah, oh, that's good. Brakes released. All right, guys. Here we go. So I've got common freak set. I went on to that spy. Um, this is all the stuff I'm reading. I thought I just get in here and flail with it. I've had a couple of guys who are subscribers to me were nice enough to offer uh, to help me if I wanted, if I needed their help. Uh, and I was almost too embarrassed to do it. So I'm going to go out here flail for a couple of times. But now I'm finding out that they can uh, technically penalize you. So I, I applied on a bat sim and sent them my license data. They gave me like a level four or something like that. Controller and training level four, whatever that is. And uh, came out here yesterday and I signed in. I connected uh, via this thing, uh, this bad boy. And I was connected and... Um, sat here trying all the regular frequencies at Kennedy, then it worked, and then I uh, had aircraft taxiing around. I'm sure they're giving me simulated dirty looks. And um, 
I was didn't know what to do, so I just taxied, got in line, and took off. So I probably got 18 uh, bad reviews on my first day here. I don't know what this guy's doing on the pushback. Uh, another one of my guys told me I should get a GSX pushback. I'm just trying to catch up. So I came in the sim world just, oh boy, two months ago. Started making videos after I made my kids and grandkids a bunch of videos. Ridiculous ones. I'd, and I just released those, actually. Embarrassing. Um, started making videos on airplanes I used to fly. Then I decided to come over here and fly uh, an airplane that I'm currently on, which is 777. I'm a 777 captain. 36 years with this airline. Don't tell them. They'll be embarrassed to admit it. And now what I'm going to do is tell these guys to go away. So I actually... Your pin is pulled. Watch for the salute and release from guidance on your right and have flight. All right. And uh, so I came over the P3D platform just to get this airplane. Looks like they are going away. Are they going away? Thought I sent them away. Doesn't look like it, does it, guys? You notice I talk to myself a lot. Oh, I got to do this. Away you go. And he couldn't get out of here fast enough, huh? So how about if I go up here? I put do a simulated flashing of the lights. Flashing of the lights. And uh, I already got the flaps out, guys. I kind of did everything to give myself a fighting chance. And I'm going to come out of... Uh, I don't know which runway we're going to. I think I'll go out of... Um, and you know what I want to do before I do that? I want to do a flight control check because I do have issues. I have a lot of issues. No, I don't. I'm a pretty good guy. Guys, leave me alone. Um, so let me see. Let me see the rudders go. All right, my flight controls are working. That's what I wanted to check. I want to see if my throttles are working. Yes, they are. All right. This is a turn you don't want to try at home. Uh, it's Tango Alpha to our right. I'm going to go out November Charlie. Yeah, I've been based at Kennedy basically for 36 years, so. I do know my way around Kennedy. That is not how you do it here at Kennedy. So, uh, I didn't see anything on here that there was a controller. I saw one aircraft flying on that VAT spy. I have no idea if I'm using any of this correctly. But I'm pretty excited. So I'm going to come out. I'm going to stop up here. And I'm going to transmit on Unicom. Oh, by the way, I'm a military pilot that went over to the airlines in 1987. Seven years in the military. 36 years with the airline. I retire in September. I don't know much about Unicom. Um, other than what I've read. So, uh. I'm going to try it. I'm just going to pretend I'm uh, talking to a controller out here. <clears throat> See if anyone's even out here with me. I saw one green arrow <clears throat> in the Kennedy area. Last night when I came out here, there were aircraft everywhere. So I kind of ran away, just escaped, and I uh, deleted myself. <coughs> Decided I better go back and read about this stuff before I get kicked off it, before I even started. Um, I think maybe the aircraft are going off one three left. When I did the ATIS, it said departing four left. <laughs> but I don't think that's the real one because the winds are definitely favoring uh, one three uh, according to my sim brief. So let me stop here. And let me see if anyone's out here. Let me go to my plus key. And I think I need to come in here and <coughs> settings push to talk <coughs> I'm sorry guys I don't know why all of a sudden I'm sorry guys. I want a headset this is good disable nope none of that output volume those look good okay push to talk I already got my plus key the add key um, updates fonts network that's him I'm doing this so you can correct what I did wrong. Uh, fonts, audio. 
push to talk. I did that. Model matchmaking. This is it. Updates. I'm going to do that one, right? And uh, automatically. Let's do this. Actually, I think we better do that for a little while. That would better be realistic, right? So, okay. Okay. Connected to voice server. Okay. Don't know what any of that means. Let's come back in here. And I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, I think I'm going to do the automatic uh, squawk mode C. Sorry you have to see this. Sorry you have to see this. Mode C, uh, settings, and push to talk, miscellaneous. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Apply it. For now. For now. I'll get better. All right, here we go. See if anyone answers or if I just go out here. So I'm on uh, Unicom 22.8. You're all witnessing it. I've got the mic selected. It's toggled up. Here we go. It's American 123 at November Charlie Information Tango. This is the first time ever on VATSIM transmitting, uh, transmitting on Unicom. Anybody there? I see a lot of aircraft taxiing out there. They look to me like they're landing on a 3-1. Yeah, the ATIS. I don't think this is the ATIS. Let me try something here. I heard that you do... Hang on a second. Let me park my brake. All right. And um, I t downloaded some commands. I'm going to type in this window. And I'm going to do... Uh, in here, I'm going to go ATIS, 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 let's see, ATIS, dot ATIS, dot ATIS, and then AAL123. Moment of truth, kids. Requesting ATIS for 123. Um, where does it come up? Messages. Does it take a while? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't see any messages. My flight plans. Uh, let me just do this. I already filed a flight plan. That's not it. Let me try this. They should have my flight plan. Oh, voice. Send and receive. All right, kids. Let's do this, all right? Kids, all right? KBOS. Um, I didn't do this one. I did it. As, I think I already have a... Uh, I think I already have a um, flight plan file. Yeah, that looks good. Cruise altitude. No, it's way too high. Let's just go at... Uh, I think it said my flight plan was for 27. I'll kind of sync this up with the flight plan I followed. 27. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Heavy. I'm going to put uh, first time. First, uh, not completely true, but it sort of is since I ran away yesterday once. I first, maybe a uh, first that sim I have pubs. Um, okay, this is uh, JFK. This is in my route is um, okay. I'm really sorry. I think I do this. I copied it. Uh, to, 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 to load it. See, I already filed. I don't know what that one is, kids. Cancel that bad boy. File flight plan. Flight plan filed. Requesting ATIS. I don't know what's going on. Filed flight plan, ground, tower. Painful, huh? 
Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna publish this video because I kind of promised my guys I would when I get out here. It's gonna be a pleasure November, having them tell me what to do. November five seven zero Niner Delta taking off runway one east departure. Okay. Yes, American one two three at November Charlie for a taxi with Tango. First time ever that simmer. Uh, which runway are we using for takeoff, guys? All right. Let's go on out there. Those aircraft look like they're... I'll just follow them. I'll get in line wherever they're going. Try this with the parking brakes off. That'll be interesting. I didn't see anyone out here. We've got the taxi light on. I've gotta admit, kind of pumped. Kind of pumped. I'm just gonna head over where all the airplanes are. Try not to hit anyone. I've got this thing on crash mode, so we'll crash. Turn this big boy around here. I think I finally got my flight controls. This P3D. Finally got my flight controls working. I have a hostage stick and throttles. This is going to be a blast when I figure this all out. I've been doing YouTube videos. If you want to uh, subscribe to Father Time, I do a lot of instructional videos. I am currently a captain on this, so those, that's probably my best work since I know what I'm talking about. Finally got the volume figured out last night. I hope I uh, stay married through all this because... My wife is starting to worry about me down here in the basement. It's one of my many hobbies. So, yeah, I turned down. I know those of you guys have been following me loyally. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble with the cockpit noise versus the voice noise. I think you can find that I've got that figured out finally. All right, so it looks to me like I don't that they're, they're landing and departing on the three ones based on the way these aircraft attacks in. I've got his program for four. It definitely doesn't look like runway four, the way these guys are taxiing. And the ATIS at Kennedy, when I tuned it on the, the radio here, said runway four, but the winds look more like they're one three, or I guess it could be three one. So I'm going to go down here and try to figure out which runway we're on. Hey guys, anyone up on our. Unicom for Kennedy. It's American 123 Heavy. Oh, you know what? That guy just took off on four. All right. All right. I don't know why these where these guys are coming from over here. Maybe they started off at Cargo. Ah, oh, that's just too cool. All right, guys. I won't take you all the way to Boston. I'm just trying to get my butt out of here. Um, and the comment section. So what I did, I'm going to tell you what I did so you can help me out. I um, get my feet off the rudder pedal so I don't make everyone sick. I opened up and loaded the flight plan at the gate at Kennedy. I went to Sim Brief and I got the engines running, everything ready to go, parked at the gate. You saw that. I went over to Simbrief, created a flight plan uh, for JFK to Boston. Uh, then I went to Simbrief Downloader and downloaded it to VAT Sim. I believe that's how I did it. I think I filed five flight plans, five of the same flight plans, to be honest with you. Then I um, opened up that guy, that guy, and. Uh, let me go back here. I don't know why this pauses every time I do that. And I, as you saw, I kind of went through. I got it for send and receive via voice. I don't think I'm getting any messages. Let me check here. Flight plan filed. Nope. Uh, I don't see anything. Clearance, ground, tower, approach, center. Nothing. So I guess I'm all voice, which I'm more comfortable with. It's all I want to do is voice. 
I know how to talk on the radios. It's debatable at times. All right. So to do a get back to the basics here, we got a RTO flaps. You know, I should probably I'm supposed to squawk mode C. Normally, when we taxi out, uh, we go TARA right away. Squawk 2000. Let me see something here. I can see if I can keep them going off the runway, taxiway. Yeah, that was pretty. All right, we're squawking mode C. All right, we'll just get in line. We're going to go off runway four left. So it's runway heading 5000 uh, JFK. We're in Unicom frequency. I did not see any frequencies. I guess if there was a controller, when I filed a flight plan, it would have shown up there on that program, this program, right? Messages, flight plan, requesting ATIS, nothing came up. Um, don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, kind of cool. So I'm going to take off and uh, without talking to anyone likely, I'll try talking again. It's America 123 Heavy uh, taxiing for takeoff runway 4 left at Kennedy. Anybody else on Unicom? It's my first time on Batson. Anyone on Unicom for American 123 Heavy at Kennedy? All right. Now, guys, my questions are multi multifold. All these aircraft, are they VAT simmers? Is that what I'm doing here? And why do they all have the same paint scheme? I'm in this thing. Do I look like them? Yeah. Don't know. They all have very similar paint schemes. So I'm going to go out and get in line. Make sure I don't hit anyone. I'm trying to, I'm, I guess I'm having a little trouble understanding the advantages of uh, doing this stuff with VATSIM when no one's talking to me on Unicom. Like, what are these guys doing? Are they all on t text? Is that most common? Should I be using text? Because that's what most people use. I guess there's a way to figure that out. Let me do this. Stop the aircraft. Park the brakes. I'm going to go in here and I'll enable text. How did I do that? I went this bad boy here. Uh, miscellaneous. Automatically squawk. Uh, push to talk. Audio. Headset's good, right? Push to talk. I did that. Model matching. Oh, model matching. No. I'm a 777. Why? That's not good, right? 777. Apply. The specified model for people not found in the last scan installed. Please enter a different default model. How about dash? Dash 300 at ER. Sorry, I have to see this, but I, I'll need your help. Okay, just do that. Okay, rescan, bombardier, no, <laughs> my uh, advanced custom rules, sim objects, apply. All right, that didn't work out. And then the next thing I want to do is um, settings, push to talk, I did that, audio, Airflow. where did I find that one? Notification networks. VATSIM, VATSIM server automatic updates, miscellaneous squawk performance. I wanted to uh, GE generic. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't matter. Let's just take off. You guys definitely please, please help me. Please, please. All right, here we go. We're only four left. Park breaks off. 
All right, my takeoff, since I'm the only one in the airplane. Normally the heading, uh, departure out here is runway heading 1.5 DME right to 100 heading. But I'll just go, uh, it's American 123 heavy on Bravo, about to take a right on Kilo, taxi to four left. Anybody on the Unicom? Yeah, it's American 123 Heavy. First time uh, on VATSIM. Just have a quick question for anyone on Unicom. All right, this is interesting because I definitely don't want to cross here without looking out there, right? So let's do this. Wow. No idea, guys. I would not try that at home. I don't know why those aircraft are taking off on runway 13 when 4 seems to be the active, but I will say the winds were favoring a 13 departure. Um, but everyone seems to be going off on 4. So I don't know. You tell me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some courage. I am going to post this. I'm just going to take off, get going, and uh, I'm going to allow you guys to. In the comments section, I don't have Discord yet. Just come on and tell me what's going on. American 123 Heavy on Unicom frequency at Kennedy. First time that Sam or anybody on frequency? What I'm thinking is I should be on text instead of... Uh, voice because no one seems to be on voice I will say this is significantly more aircraft than I've been flying with yesterday there were small aircraft out here uh, I don't know what I look like to them on the outside it's evidently a bombardier oh no Maybe I should fly with one of my uh, subscriber buddies and um, have them fix me up. Alright, 22.8. Toggled up. Maybe I'll turn off that. The uh, interphone. Anyone on 22.8 at Kennedy for American 123 Heavy? Yeah, I definitely am in VATSIM because there's a lot of different liveries out here. All different strange looking airplanes. How I filed as a 777 flight plan and ended up a bombardier on a VATSIM is beyond me. Looks to me like the Airbus is the real popular one here. It's probably that... Uh, fly-by-wire airplane. Nice. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to do one more quick look up here. Flight plan filed. Requesting ATIS. That never came through. Uh, messages, notes, flight plan, IDEN. Uh, how about text only? Let's do this. Text only. Okay, load it. Yeah, who knows, guys? Who knows? Text only save. Close. See if anything comes up here. Messages. Center. Approach. Nothing. Nothing. All right, back to basics. 
Must be painful for you vat simmers to watch me. Now I believe I've totally disabled my ability to use Unicom. Yeah, so I have it on the plus key. I hit the plus key, I have it uh, switch toggle down. I have uh, Unicom frequency of 122.8 set. I wonder if common freak 123.45 would work. Try that. And maybe these aircrafts are uh, monitoring that. Breaks a set. Switch it, I'll monitor that one too. Yeah, it's American 123 uh, Heavy at Kennedy on 2345. Uh, anyone there on Common? It's actually on 2345. And American 2345 Heavy on. Unicom at Kennedy. Anybody, anybody here? Alright. I think we can all agree Captain Marvel's going to take off and come out. Alright, let's go back to this pilot stuff. Runway headings in there, 5,000. Got the PFD set for heading hole, VNAV. Got flaps 15, RTO. I just heard somebody there. Anyone on Unicom Freak at Kennedy for America 123 Heavy? Okay, America 123 Heavy, we're. Uh, Holding short of runway four left at Kilo One. Yeah. So what I was reading is on Unicom, no one wants to talk to you. You just uh, tell people what you're doing as you're doing it. This is going to be one humbling review by y'all. Pacifica. No sense doing that after departing Pacifica. Now Kennedy is 19-1 here. Is it possible? American uh, 123 heavy holding short of four left. Anyone on uh, tower frequency? All right, guys, I'm going out there. Flight attendants to chime. Get on my lights on. Stay on the taxiway. All right, pretty cool. Except no one's talking to me. I like having friends out here. Be nice though if they talk to me. All right, we're going. All right, let's get out of here. Another failed experiment. Alive. All right, we'll just take off, get it cleaned up. Yeah. 
Get out of everyone's hair. V1. Gear up, please. All right, well, that was painful. You saw it here first. I guess I could tr go back to Unicom, transmit on Unicom, maybe. November 1, 2, automated weather observation, 1, 6, 3, 4. Don't want to hear the ATIS. Wind calm, visibility greater than 2, 0 miles. All right. Condition, Fly in the airplane. Let's get out of everyone's hair. We go on our requested Delta flight plan. Five. Execute it. LNAV. Yeah, American 123 Heavy, transmitting on Unicom, climbing out of Kennedy, proceeding direct to Merritt. Uh, and we're calm out, no one's talking to us. Anybody on, on frequency? All right. All right, we're VNAV, LNAV, we're on our way to Boston. And that's it. That's my first day on VATSIM. I'm not talking anyone. Now I have ATIS transmitting on 22.8 Unicom. Did I have the frequency wrong? Let me try this free. Yeah, American 123 Heavy took off out of Kennedy heading to Boston. Anyone on 2345? All right, guys, that's it. Um, I'm going to post this. And if you wouldn't mind helping me out, that'll be good. We'll see what I'm doing wrong. All right, Father Time's out. Subscribe if you want to see more inept VATSIM flying. Bye-bye.